Is Germany the sick man of Europe? This question may seem strange given the nation's economic stature, but the reality is that it's a valid question these days. In fact, the story of Germany's economy has come full circle. In the late 90s, Germany was referred to as the sick man of Europe, only to rise as the continent's locomotive in the 2010s. But now, it seems we've come back to the starting point, where headlines point to Germany being the sick man of Europe again. The question that arises is, why is this the case? And more importantly, will Germany's economy stagnate? Over the next few minutes, we will explore these questions, trying to understand Germany's economic situation. So buckle up, hit the like button, comment a pineapple emoji, and let's begin. Is the German economy in trouble? To comprehend the present, we must first understand the past. Let's go back to the early 2000s when Gerhard Schroeder was at the helm of Germany. His economic reforms, particularly in the labor market, were a game changer, sparking what was dubbed the employment miracle, whereby about six million jobs were added from when he left office in 2005 until COVID struck the German economy. The number of unemployed people dropped dramatically falling by 2 million between 2005 and the Great Recession in 2008, injecting new life into the economy. After Schroeder came Angela Merkel, a steady hand guiding Germany's economy through more than a decade of economic growth. Under her watch, Germany became known as Europe's economic engine, a beacon of stability during the sovereign debt crisis in the Eurozone. But was it all sunshine and roses? Not quite. The reforms, while beneficial to the economy as a whole, stirred up heated debates. Some argue they widened the wealth gap, leaving many German workers vulnerable. However, most agree that the German labor market has become more flexible as a result of the reforms. Moving to 2018, it was apparent that signs in Germany's economic model were beginning to stutter. Its GDP growth figures became a lot weaker, and its GDP and constant prices almost flatlined. But what external factors could be influencing Germany's economy? Let's explore what is at play. Germany's economic dilemma stems from a variety of issues. Today we will outline the six key areas that are shaking the foundations of the German economy. Firstly, geopolitics. Not so long ago, Germany was heavily reliant on hydrocarbons from Russia. Today, this is no longer the case. As the war in Ukraine carries on, Germany has carried out a monumental shift in energy imports, which, despite being impressive for the speed at which it has taken place, it has caused chaos for the German economy, contributing to higher energy prices and a fall in consumer purchasing power. And let's not forget, it has made German businesses less competitive on the global market. Secondly, we have China. China's recovery from COVID wasn't great, with Chinese consumer demand not matching the expectations of economists around the world, having a knock-on impact in Germany. Furthermore, in the middle to long-term scenario, China's economy is slowing down, and so is its demand for German exports. This slowdown is expected to continue into the coming decades, and this will remove one of the factors supporting German economic growth. Let's remember that Germany's economy relies less on its domestic consumers than the USA's or the UK's, with its export-driven businesses having more weight in its GDP. Thirdly, let's talk about supply chains. Supply chains are always evolving, but recent geopolitical tensions, including the invasion of Ukraine and an increasingly strained relationship between the West and China, have accelerated these changes, resulting in global economic realignments. This fast-paced shift can disrupt established business operations and create economic uncertainty, which is also weighing negatively on the German economy's performance these years. Fourthly, we have the subsidy race. You see, with countries competing to attract international companies in various sectors, such as microchip production or even vehicle production, Germany is finding itself caught up in stiff competition. For instance, the USA's Inflation Reduction Act is an example of how aggressive this race can become, and it is causing some to worry about part of Germany's manufacturing base jumping across the Atlantic. Fifthly, we have climate goals. Germany's ambitious net zero emissions target, while commendable, imposes additional costs on businesses. These costs can divert investment euros from more productive areas to simply keep companies within emission regulations. This, in the short term, has increased business costs for the German economy and weighs on German economic growth. 
Finally, a demographic shift is continuing to hit Germany. You see, Germany's population is aging with a median age of 47, one of the highest in the world, and an estimated 7 million workers set to exit the workforce by 2035. This demographic shift presents a significant challenge and will continue to drag on German economic growth and it is expected to intensify in severity. Each of these issues individually poses a threat, but combined they create a complex web of economic challenges that Germany must navigate. However, does this mean Germany's economy is doomed? Will Germany remain in trouble? Germany is in trouble, but not doomed. This is the key takeaway when we look at the challenges facing the German economy. Of the six main issues we've discussed, three, geopolitics, the subsidy race and supply chain disruptions, are temporary. They are a product of current global tensions and market shifts, but these are fluid, not fixed. Germany has a solid economy, one that is efficient and innovative. This isn't just a statement of fact, it's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the German economic model. Its strength lies in its ability to respond to change, to innovate and to remain attractive as a safe and reliable place to do business. It's true that the current economic climate is challenging, but Germany has weathered storms before. The same qualities that steered it through past crises can help it adapt to the new realities of the global economy. So there's hope for Germany's economy after all. But now it's over to you. What do you think? Is Germany's economy doomed? Is it capable of adapting to the changing global economic landscape? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, make sure to like this video if you liked it, share it with your friends and subscribe. And if you don't know what to comment, then drop a pineapple emoji down below. Otherwise, take care. Bye.